So this is how my dream starts off. Two of my friends and me, we're at the school, and the principal, she all of a sudden says, welcome to the Illuminati Greenberg High School. Like, as we're sitting down, this obviously catches our attention. I'm like, whoa, Illuminati Greenberg, like what? So I look at one of my friends and I'm like, hey, maybe we're here for a reason. And of course she agrees with me. She's like, yeah, true, could be possible, you know? <laughs> So then the principal, she calls all three of us up and she gives us a bag filled with gifts in it. And this particular gift that really stands out is a book. I'm like, do they worship God in private? Because this book actually looks like a Bible. So as she gives us a gift, I yell out loud and I'm like, I love Jesus, I love my Father God. And she looks at me and like everyone just stares at me and they're just like... So the principal, she says, We'll let that slide because you're new. And I'm just like, whatever. So I sit down. Then she asks my friend for money. So she says, okay. So she gets out this bill. And the crazy thing about this bill is that it's really shiny. It's like, it doesn't look like our regular dollar bill. It had this new face in the middle. It was a man. The thing is, in my dream, I couldn't see. It was just blurred up. But there was a man. And next to the man was um, a triangle with an eye in the middle. I'm like, whoa, what is that? So my friend's like, oh, that's the new dollar that they came out with recently. And I'm just like, what? So we put it in the envelope, give it to the lady, and we go to our dorms. As I'm in the dorm, I decide to take a look at the book. I'm like, let me read the Bible. So I get the gift, and I get the Bible, and as I open it to the first page, instead of it saying, you know, in the beginning, how God created the world and stuff, it actually says, praise Bezebel, or whatever the name is. Bezebel? And I'm like, what the heck is this? This doesn't say anything about God. And I'm like, kind of weirded out. So I close the book and I just like put it somewhere else, like away from me. So instead, I'm just like, you know what? I'm going to pray. I get on my knees. And as I'm on my knees, the whole light closes in the room. And there's a black figure where the door is at. Right where that door is at, there was a black figure it's like a man so immediately it's like as if I already knew who it was I stand up and I say I rebuke in the name of Jesus so the guy comes up to me like offended and all and it's just like I can't breathe like all my oxygen leaves and I can't say it anymore like I'm trying to but I can't it's just like I rebuke in the name of Jesus and like all of a sudden I just transport out of the dorm like um outside and I'm like whoa that was weird as I stand out um, I go to my friends and I'm like, hey, did you guys receive any gifts in your bag? A book, perhaps? And immediately they're like, yeah, we received it, but we didn't like it. And I was like, yeah, neither did I. And they were like, yeah, it felt corrupted. So I was like, I agree with you 100%. Fast forward a little bit. I go back to my friends and this time they look completely weak, drained out. Their faces are so pale. They're sweating. The atmosphere was so dense. And I was like, guys, are you okay? And they're like, yeah, we'll get over it. I'm like, all right, all right, bro. You say you're gonna get over it? It's fine with me. I go to the bathroom. I look in the mirror. I'm the same way. I'm sweating. And then the crazy part is like, I'm sweating. I'm pale, really pale. More paler than I am. <laughs> but um, I'm sweating really pale. And I look and I'm like, you know, my hair is like all sweaty too. Let me put it up. As I'm going to put it up, this like chunk right here just like rips off. And I'm just like, whoa, that's creepy. So let me just... Put it back down so I don't look ugly, like half bald. So then I leave from the bathroom. Now I go into the room because I'm trying to get to the meeting. And as I'm in the meet, one of my friends and another friend of mine, they're worshiping. They're like, yeah, you know, they're praising God. And I'm like, yeah. So then I start to pray. This is what I said. I said, Dear Father God, Brother Jesus, and Precious Holy Spirit, we come before you to thank you for this wonderful day, Lord. Thank you for everything that you've done. Thank you for giving us a new opportunity of life. Lord, I come before you that the truth may open everyone's eyes and their hearts to you, God. And then this person just pushes me. They were like, oh, don't say that. This is my house. This is my place. I'm like, bro, what? So, of course, it takes me a moment to realize that person in front of me is not the person in front of me but actually the enemy I start rebuking immediately I'm like in the name of Jesus I rebuke you in the name of Jesus I rebuke you in the name of Jesus and then the person you know who I thought was in front of me actually transforms into the black figure and and then the black figured man just starts looking over me like like bro this is my territory and I'm like <laughs> no, that's not cool but the 
thing is, like, when he started, like, getting all up in my face, I couldn't speak again. I was like, oh, crap, this is happening again, really? It's like, it makes me look intimidated when it's like, no, no. <laughs> Anyways, so the person's in front of me, like, just saying, no, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, just, like, yelling at me. I'm like, what the flip? So, like, I'm trying to rebuke, and this time, like, I lose my voice. And it's like, I feel something in my spirit just telling me, Jesus will always be there with you. And I was like, whoa. And then all of a sudden, I was like, I rebuke in the name of Jesus. And then the guy, he's just like, he backs up. And that's where my dream ends. Um, I'm not sure, but I really think that this dream is talking about revelations. The new dollar could definitely be something about the Antichrist. Um, the book that was in the um, in my dream was actually a satanic book because if you remember before how I said it said praise be visible if you check that up in the Bible where it says Pharisees they were talking about Jesus they were like oh he uses the power of visible to take out demons visible in Philippine actually refers to the devil so it's like whoa creep the school everyone in the school was not a believer there was no believers in that school. The black figure man is also considered the devil because I've had him. I've had him in a few other dreams, but I'll tell you that in another video. But uh, yeah, it's, it's definitely something about revelations. But if you guys have ever had a dream similar to this, comment below because I'd like to hear what you guys have to say seems quite interesting especially when you're dreaming about God and the Bible and stuff like that definitely interesting and a very much a privilege to have dreams not everyone has them so yeah <laughs> but uh thanks for listening to me talk about my dream <laughs> okay uh bye god bless